Hey everyone, Moto here. Uh, today is going to be a quick guide on how to install very basic orthos just to make the default scenery just a little bit more prettier for when you're flying your lovely tubes or whatever you want to fly up at 10 plus thousand feet. Uh, this isn't a guide to go in depth in different zoom levels, etc. Uh, this is just purely mass batch build make it look like mine and yeah nice and simple let's go okay to give you guys a quick example when i mean save file space or size uh this is what i mean so this is my current ortho i have i have a good chunk uh, a very good chunk and it goes all the way to asia as well i've got most of japan i've not quite finished it yet um and if i can quickly scroll <laughs> bear with me a second uh i've got most of Canada that I want, I go all the way up to Alaska and the entire file size so far is 415 gigabytes. Uh, for some of you that have tested or used Orthos in the past, you know how big the file size can get. The reason I don't have anything in the States is because I am running these States. Okay, so the first thing I would recommend is getting HD Mesh Scenery V4 for X-Plane 11. It's not necessary, but I'd really recommend it really do recommend it uh, there will be a link to this in the description below it's a very easy install and process it can be a little bit time consuming based on your download speeds but what you want to do is you want to scroll down and now here's all the tiles what they've currently done uh, so for example you just pick a tile download the mirror directly or you can download the whole thing as a torrent uh, and again like i said it's not necessary but I'd really, really recommend doing this because it will make ortho just that little extra bit better. Uh, but do this before you do any orthos, okay? There is an installation guide just on here as well. I, uh, follow this to the dot, guys. Otherwise, it will not work. Uh, very quick, very easy to install. It just depends on your internet speed. Uh, but once you've got that, if you choose to go for this, if you don't, don't worry. But once you've done that or haven't done that, we're going to go to this place here. Uh, there, again, there's a link below in the description. You want to find the post by Oscar. Scroll down and you want to click on Wind Windows, even Windows Binary Package for V130. It will be a Google link. Download that. And then again, we're going on file size here. So I've put this in a separate hard drive from my X plane, which is absolutely fine. Not a problem at all. In fact, if I show you this very quickly, so my X plane is actually installed on this hard drive here, but my authors are all on large brain just for the file size. That's literally it. I've got V states and everything installed on here, hence why it's taken up the entire thing. Uh, so that's why I've put ortho on here. It's not a problem. I will be showing you how to do a direct link from this hard drive to this hard drive so your sim knows it's installed. Uh, hence why COD's also in here for this is my dumping ground. So this is where it is. Uh, to give you an example, this entire ortho folder, which all those authors you've seen, is only 415 gigabytes. Not bad at all. Okay, so you've got ortho downloaded. You've put it on the hard drive that you want it to be on. Once you're happy with everything along those lines, go into ortho itself, binary, scroll down for the ortho application. It's a little bit far down. There it is there. Double click that. Now, you'll be greeted with this page here. The first thing you want to do is you want to click on settings. You want to change the custom scenery to your X-Plane 11 custom scenery file, okay? Mine's slightly different hard drives because I've got my custom scenery on a different hard drive, if you remember correctly. Once you've done that and you've told it where X-Plane 11 custom scenery folder is, this is your second part here. Now, if you decided to download the HD meshes before doing this, this location needs to point to x plane 11 custom scenery and then the custom mesh folder if you decided not to go for custom mesh you, this needs to point to x plane 11 and then it needs to go into global scenery okay it needs to point to its global scenery um for that instead of the hd meshes but again, I really recommend pointing this to, uh, well, getting HD Mesh Pack, okay? It just makes it that little bit better. Up here under High ZL Airports, change this to iCal. Now, what this does is it will, if you do a tile and there's an airport there, 
it would just make it just a little bit more prettier. Uh, it just fleshes it out nicer, okay? But the remaining settings, I'm not going to go through everything. This is a quick guide. Just pause the video, copy this. Only caveat is you just change these two down here to your directories, okay? Once you're happy with this, hit write app config, apply, and then exit this. Now, imagery. Bing for pretty much almost everything. My entire, as you saw, my entire Europe is Bing, uh, pretty much. Uh, the only difference would be Japan, I've set as Google, because that has the better imagery quality for that area. Now, a quick Google search for what's the best imagery using auto for different areas will give you a good result. Can't really go wrong with Bing. Uh, another good test is literally load up Bing Maps or Google Maps, for example, and have a look yourself uh, using that. There are a good chunk of different imageries you can use here as well. Zoom level, we're going for 14. Again, we're going for keeping that file size down, but still making it look pretty, all right? Once you're done with that, you're gonna click on the map icon and you'll be greeted with this. Again, it won't look exactly like mine, uh, but it's it, hopefully it'll get there. Now, what I would recommend to do is you select a good chunk of tiles, go to bed. It's a long process to download tiles, guys. It really is. Even if you have the best internet in the world, it still can take a very long time. I tend to do about between 40 to 70 tiles per night. So I'll select up to 70 tiles, go to bed. Get up in the morning and mine's still downloading, but it's nearly done. And what you want to do is you hold left shift and you click. That's it. You select the tiles you want. So say I want to do that, for example, that's the ones I wanted to do. I'll just highlight those. Now, as you can see here, I am still working down here. So for example, I'm just going to select this little section here. Now, this is a good example. I want this coastline here as well. So I would actually have to highlight that as well. It's going to get those islands, not a problem. In fact, I might as well just finish it off and get that little island there. Don't select just water it will not work basically and it can cause problems it will make your water look really really weird in the sim but if there is actual well terrain there it's not a problem at all so i'm going to select these three tiles here and i'm happy with that so once you've got your tiles selected left hand side batch build tiles click on absolutely everything apart from the last one read per tile config so once those have been selected you just simply hit batch build that's it. And you can tell it's going because if we come back to this one here, you can see it's batch building as we can as it's going through. If for whatever reason you need to cancel batch build, wait until the current tile is done and you see step one being highlighted, okay? For the next tile. Once you see step one being highlighted, then just hit just close it down. All right. You you won't have any problems there. Try and not close this down while it's halfway through a batch build if you have a system crash power cut or whatever reason while it's halfway through a tile try and find out what tile it was on and delete that file in the ortho folder so we go back to ortho we go to tiles these are all the tiles that i have downloaded try and find out which one it was on and just simply delete that tile and start again from that tile you've just deleted if that makes sense but I will come back to you guys once these are downloaded and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so we're done. Uh, that was set nearly seven minutes for those three small tiles. Some tiles can take a lot longer than others. Uh, depends how in depth that, air, that terrain is in that certain tile that you've just decided to pick, for example. Uh, but those small three little tiles took me seven minutes to do to give you an idea of the actual time process. Now we can see them here, they're not a solid color like the remaining ones, but that's fine. Just a very quick one as well, while you're downloading tiles, you're more than welcome to hit the refresh button over on the left hand side at any stage to see where exactly you are. Once you're happy, they're downloaded, you're all good to go. You're simply going to hold left control and click on the tiles that you've downloaded. That will make them a solid color, and what that means is they are now linked directly to your uh, custom scenery folder in X-Plane. And that's it. That's, you, that's your tiles built. That's all you have to do. 
The only other different thing I would recommend, well, the only other different thing I would recommend is something called XP Organizer uh, version two. I, I will drop a link to that in the description below and basically I'll very quickly load it for you guys. Uh, this just makes life a little bit easier if you're starting to download some sceneries, etc. So I've downloaded those tiles and I've loaded X Organizer, okay? And it's found them straight away. That's it. And I hit close on that, I'm happy. And all I need to do is go to actions, execute all tasks, and that has sorted out my custom scenery in the file. Now, if I show you this here, let me bring this over for you guys. Come down here and the custom scenery packs, most of you guys know this needs to be in a very specific order. If you're happy and know how this process works, go for it. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna go through this guide in this video because I don't fully know it myself. I use X Organizer to do it for me. Great bit of kit, it's really cheap. It is payware, but it is cheap. It's on the uh, X-Plane store. Uh, I will put a link to this in the description below, but it makes my life and a lot of my friends' lives a lot easier when it comes to doing some scenery because it just fixes it all for you. And that's it, easy as pie. Again, we're not going to make it look super pretty down low. It's this not the point of this. Um, fly Microsoft Flight Sim if you want to do low level GA with high ortho, should we say. The, the point of this is to keep file size down and just to make it look just that bit prettier and a bit more immersive when you're flying the tubes or whatever it is up at 10 plus thousand feet. Um, but yeah, super easy. Again, any questions or anything, do ask below and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, but no, stay safe, happy flying, and uh, take care of one. Bye-bye.